What's up, Kansai community? I hope you're all doing well out there. Today we're gonna to talk about something, and I'm sorry to say, but you're probably not gonna like it. If you ask me, computer science is the best major. You learn how to think logically and create the next generation of technology that's gonna change the world. You can get a high paying job or create your own product and start your own business. But computer science isn't all sunshine and rainbows. According to HESA, the Higher Education Statistics Agency, computer science has a dropout rate of 9.8% making it the highest dropped major of all majors. Obviously, as a computer science student, I wanted to know why it was the most dropped major, so I did what any computer science student would do. I consulted the internet. There's a thread on Reddit conveniently called Great Conversations on Why Computer Science Has Such a High Drop Rate. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and read what some of the other uh, computer science students were saying. The first person says, I definitely agree with that sentiment, that a lot of people don't know what CompSci actually is. To my non-engineering friends, they think CompSci is some sort of programming or hacker school where you type in code into a green on black editor and create the next Facebook or steal files from the NSA. Nearly all of them have shown surprise when they instead see how mathematically based and theoretical it is. They go on to say, additionally, I see a lot of students who copy-paste code they need off of SO, which is Stack Overflow, rather than figuring it out for themselves or writing it by hand. So let's actually talk about what he said for a second and let's analyze this. So the first thing that he said is that computer science isn't what most people tend to think it is. So they come into it with false pretenses um, and they think they're just going to learn how to hack or, or program or make the next Facebook or whatever. Um, and it's actually a lot more to it. For one, I underestimated the amount of math that was going to be in it. Um, and I'll touch on that a little bit more later. And then the second thing he said was that a lot of people, they get stuck on their programming homework. Um, especially when they're first starting out and they go immediately to Stack Overflow or somewhere else where they can just copy and paste the code or get the answer really quickly instead of figuring it out for themselves. I've actually done that um, and I, I failed my first computer science class that way. I failed Intro to Java because I was getting caught up with calculus and it was just taking up so, so much of my time and um, I took the easy way out and I would just copy and paste a lot of code and I felt like I was learning it but when it came time to take the exam I realized how much I didn't know. Now let's move on to another one. So this person says, I think a lot of it also has to do with how different CS is than any other subject you are likely to have experienced prior to an intro to CS course. Sure, it's math and logic based, but most people haven't had any sort of logic course previously, only after they start the CS courses. In other subjects, you have had previous courses that prepare you for the course. Even though you haven't seen the specific subject, they build off the previous courses you've taken. The first CS course you take doesn't seem to relate to anything you've taken before. It's something almost completely new. I actually really resonate with what he said a lot. And uh, I just recently wrote an article uh, answering the question, is computer science hard? I'll link to that in the bottom if you want to check that out. But one of the things that I say in there, one of the reasons that I give why computer science is so hard, is that it's, it's very heavily logic based and that most new students coming into it, they've never taken a course in logic and the whole concept is just very new to them, especially when applying it to some sort of science like computer science. There's one more that I want to read from this Reddit post. So this user says, I actually know a lot of developers that dropped out due to the fact that they weren't learning in their classes. I know a Google developer expert of Angular who didn't even finish his associates. I hear stories like this on a daily basis. This is probably one of the less common reasons why people actually drop out, uh, but I've actually experienced this myself in some cases where the, com the computer science classes are just very theoretical, which can be really good, but when they're uh, not hands-on or when they're just too basic and you're at a more advanced level, um, it can really seem like a waste of time. And for somebody who has a lot more experience than, say, I do, um, which I actually don't have the most experience, but somebody who already has a lot of experience going into, into a computer science degree, the classes can be very beginner friendly and in some cases too beginner friendly. So I could see that as a definite reason why people would want to drop out. So before we wrap this up, there's two other things that I want to touch on that are really valid reasons why uh, computer science is a really hard major and reasons why somebody would want to drop it. So we kind of touched on this a little bit earlier and that's the high level of mathematics that's involved in computer science. And it's something that really tripped me up personally. Calculus was really hard and it took so much of my time that it distracted me from some of my other computer science related classes my first programming class, which I ended up failing because I was just spending so much time on calculus. And some degree programs require calculus one, two, three, linear algebra, several other math classes. So it's, de it's definitely something that you need to be on the lookout for if you're considering majoring in computer science. The last thing that I wanna to touch on that you really need to have if you're gonna major in computer science, I could definitely see people dropping out for this reason um, if they're not interested in it. And 
a lot of people go into it thinking that they're interested in it. They like technology or maybe they've watched a couple videos of Elon Musk, guilty, and they're just really excited about it. I don't blame them. And they don't have an actual genuine interest in the technology and in programming. They think they're just going to be a hacker or things are going to be easy. But in actuality, you have to have an interest in this, like a, a real uh, almost obsession in technology and programming uh, in order to really succeed in computer science. So that just about does it. If you can think of any other reasons why you think computer science is such a hard major and why so many people drop it, feel free to comment below and be sure to subscribe and like this video. And we'll see you again next week. Thanks.